Good morning class. Today we're going to start with a fastest finger first. So let's start with just the back row. I'm going to put a question on the board and let's see who can answer this the fastest. Ready? Get set. Go. Well done. Is Mr. Calderelli correct? No, Mr. Calderelli is wrong because he has ignored his negatives. Brilliant, thank you, well done. Did Mr. Jenkinson get it correct? No, because uh, the negatives is wrong. Thank you, well done. Is Miss Barnhurst right? Yes, she is. Fabulous, thank you. Well done, Miss Barnhurst. Is Miss Morris correct? No, she put it in the ascending order. Brilliant, thank you very much. Is Miss Earnshaw right? No, Miss Earnshaw's wrong because she thought adding more decimal places would make the number bigger. Perfect, thank you very much. Right, guys, you've seen some of our math teachers having a go at the fastest finger first. We've now going to put a worksheet on for you to do and the five fastest correct answers emailed to the email address at the bottom will win themselves a prize. Hi, I'm Mr Thompson, the Director of Mathematics at Aspire Academy. As a department, we are aiming to support the students' ability to both tackle challenges alone as well as collaboratively. The balance between getting the students to be independent and the ability to discuss maths is delicate. As a department, we strive to integrate this into our lessons and schemes of learning. The importance of mathematics is not just to solve the basic equations, but to truly understand the problems can sometimes have more than one solution. And it is about finding the best solution for the problem. I'm Mr Jenkinson, the Assistant Director of Mathematics at Black Plus Bar Academy. Our Key Stage 3 scheme of work is dedicated to mastery process, making sure that the students see mathematics in a different context. Looking into different ways of looking at problems using manipulatives, pictorial or abstract methods, or solving their problems. In Key Stage 4, we mix the problem solving real life side of mathematics with the exam style questioning to prepare the students the best we can for the GCSEs and after. No matter if they are looking to pass their GCSE mathematics or as a stepping stone for further maths, it is important to try and keep a passion for tackling problems and getting the solutions. As a department, we have improved year upon year with our GCSE results. Over the last three years, our results have improved in each key indicator for GCSE. At our 4+, plus, we have had an improvement of 9%. At 5+, plus, of 13% and we have held at 10% 7 plus. In this ever-changing world the future our students are planning for is not 100% clear what it will look like. However, one thing we can be sure of is the skills of mathematics and problem solving will be integral to progress and success in the future.